it is a dangerous thing to mistake speaking without critical thinking with speaking the truth. So Terry, your statement that the Democrats are ruining us is certainly true. I'm not going to deny that. But it's also important to recognize that censorship and the limitations of free speech online are problems that affect people in general, regardless of political affiliation. I want to start my statement by saying that I was a hardcore leftist. I admit it. A Bernie Sanders supporter who tried to keep the ideology but balancing it with critical thinking and science. But since mid-2020, I was targeted so much online that I'm, I am no longer a believer that a two-party system and social media can be fair and truthful. Not at all. Nowadays, no matter what you heard or hear, we are living in an authoritarian corporate aristocracy with heavy censorship overtones. George Orwell, in his book 1984, had plenty to say about the situations that we are now living in. And the technological tools that are here now to reinforce the systems which the book failed to foresee is working hard. But basically, we are here for a reason. We must have a specific mission to improve the systems in which we participate. At least I think. Let's all find our missions and do our part, regardless of political party or social media rules. Don't allow yourself to be blinded by any narrative, left or right. They may be both wrong. If we think a little, we will see behind the smoke screen. It's easy to get caught up in a particular narrative and forget to critically evaluate it. That's why it's important to think critically and consider all sides of an issue. Critical thinking involves asking questions, gathering evidence, evaluating that evidence and testing assumptions, reaching a conclusion, and discussing that conclusion with others. It's a skill that takes practice, but it's never too late to learn. Remember to be open-minded and trust those around you who have different perspectives, especially smart people. It's only through this kind of critical thinking and trust different opinions is that we can hope to find solutions to the problems we face. Rarely you can get to a good conclusion without being open-minded and uh, running your own conclusions by people you trust, especially if they have different points of view from yours. But it's possible, but run it by people you don't like too. Our opinions are based on all we hear and see. That's why those who wish to control society do all they can to release only one narrative. Everything else gets censored. In psychology, it is called programming. Keep in mind that history shows that in all societies, the majority is often wrong. Don't go with the majority. Majority is dumb and controllable by powers. Follow the money and you'll find the powers. Good luck on your saga to be a sharp human being. So here's a poem for you, Terry. Critical thinking is a skill we should all learn. It helps us make good decisions so we don't crash and burn. First, we must ask a question and seek out the facts. Second, gather evidence and don't be lax. Third, evaluate the information, compare and contrast. Fourth, test assumptions. Make sure they are not in the past. Fifth, reach a conclusion. Don't be swayed. Last, discuss with others. Listen to what they have to say. So next time you face a problem or a doubt, just remember to think critically and you won't be left in a drought.